the capacitor banks out again today, and the first target is this little uh, capacitor here. It's a uh, 15 microfarad cap rated at 180 volts AC. It's uh, originally from a refrigerator whose compressor was dead, so I couldn't make a high pressure air out of that one. So the cap will get subjected to the big capacitor bank of uh, 6 kV at around 70 microfarads today. Let's see what happens. Well, the capacitor's set up, hooked up to the capacitor bank, and we're all ready to go here, so uh, let's give this uh, a shot. Let's see what happens. Charging. Charged. And fire. Well, something happened. Well, wow, that shot blew the capacitor to bits. I couldn't find a lot of it, but here's what I did find. A couple of bits of foil and some chunks of shredded, uh, exploded plastic. That cap is popped. Here's the rest of that capacitor. I finally found it uh, and got it back. It had uh, gone about eight feet away from the force of being popped. I've now hooked up the potato you saw in the corner of the previous clip, so uh, the somewhat nasty old potato is up next. The potato is hooked up and ready, so let's give uh, the potato uh, a try here. Plug in. Ready to fire. Everything seems ready. Charging power on. Charging. Bank charged. And fire. Ah, potato nest, potato chunks. Unplug for safety, power out. Definitely a new way of making uh, mashed potatoes, smashed potatoes. Well, that rotten potato definitely got mashed and smashed. Not a lot left of it. This time the capacitor bank's target is a 120 volt, 20 watt light bulb, originally out of a scrap microwave oven. We'll see what to uh, a jolt from the cap bank will do, if anything, to a light bulb. The filament in this bulb is intact and the bulb is working, so let's see what, if anything, happens. Everything's set, so let's give this light bulb a try. Plug in power supply. Everything's ready. Charging power on. Bank charge. And fire! Well, obviously from the sound of things, the light bulb blew. Power off. Unplug for safety. Verify bank fully discharged. It is.
All that's left of the 120 volt 20 watt microwave light bulb is the base. Everything else was blown out of it and blown to bits. I wanted yet another target, so I looked around the shop, and sure enough, I found a burned out compact fluorescent uh, light bulb. It's all hooked up and ready to go, so let's see what, if anything, this'll do. I'll be applying power from the cap bank the normal way through the base of the bulb. Everything's set up, so let's get plugged in and ready and fire this uh, dead light bulb. Plug in. Everything's ready, charging power on, bank charged and ready to fire, charging power off and fire. And again, I heard a result. Unplug for safety, completely powered down, cap bank voltmeter reads discharged, Let's go look for the bits of that bulb. Here we go, the base of the bulb and some bits of the rounded spirally glass can be seen on the floor. Nothing went terribly far. Let's, uh get a better look at what happened to the base and the electronics. It looks like it got all popped apart. This did take a fair bit of damage uh, from one shot from the cap bank. The uh, glass bulb was literally blown away from uh, the filaments out. The ferrite core in the inverter, or the outer limb, was blown right off it, and the two capacitors are buckled, split, and dented. Another uh, inductor here of some sort was snapped off and had the ferrite broken by the forces unleashed. And let's get another angle view at it, can see the burnt, scorched uh, electrolytics. Not much survived to this. I'll definitely try another one when another one of these cheap bulbs craps out on me again. Not much at all was left of the uh, glass from the compact fluorescent. It got chopped up into quite tiny pieces from the cat bank blast. That popped beautifully. 